However, we physicists say that the universe was created in a Big Bang 13.7 billion years ago. But then the question is, why did it bang? What set off the bang? In the vast expanse of the infinite universe, the piercing gaze of the James Webb Space Telescope has unearthed a revelation destined to shatter the very foundations of our cosmic understanding. This latest discovery unveils a black hole with the potential to obliterate the entire fabric of our universe. Renowned astrophysicist Michio Kaku, his eyes alight with fascination, has shared his awe for this groundbreaking revelation. For the first time, we peer deep into the heart of the universe, unraveling the hidden secrets of its primordial origins. Welcome to Universal Narratives, where the mysteries of the universe unfold in every story, in every detail, bringing you ever closer to the cosmic truth. That energy is dark energy. There is an energy source even bigger than galactic. And dark energy is the energy of the Big Bang is the anti-gravitational force that's creating the expanding universe. In my opinion, we are truly observing colossal black holes where new laws of physics could emerge. If you manage to understand all of this, there might be a Nobel Prize waiting for you. Mikio Kaku is one of the first scientists to openly discuss what James Webb has discovered at the edges of the temporal universe, monstrous black holes. A photo revealing ancient galaxies so old that they shouldn't even exist has shaken the world of astronomers and cosmologists. In addition to this impact, it has been revealed that at least one of these galaxies hosts an ultra-massive black hole at its center. This discovery could overturn our understanding of the universe, earning it the nickname Destroyer of Universes. Who would have thought that images from the new telescope could call into question everything we know in physics so far? Physics has been facing increasingly unsolvable mysteries since the publication of the first images. Researchers hoped that the new space telescope would provide solutions or confirm old theories, such as the Big Bang. Initially, everything seemed positive. NASA released a photo with some stars and many visible galaxies. The more galaxies become reddish and dark, the older they are. After the publication of the image, a race began. Numerous research teams worldwide dedicated themselves to analyzing the image, extracting surprising information from every point of light using cutting-edge technologies. The James Webb Space Telescope is a masterpiece of modern technology that, with images like this, takes us back to a period just half a billion years after the Big Bang. Soon, researchers announced the discovery of the first ancient galaxies and a massive black hole with a mass 10 million times greater than our Sun. But how can such a massive object exist in an era when the universe was still in its early days? A black hole of this size so soon after the Big Bang disrupts our previous understanding of galaxy formation. According to the previous theory of the Big Bang, there should only have been initial prototypes of stars and star clusters in that period. But now we are observing six massive, bright and star-rich galaxies, each with supermassive black holes at their centers. Gravitational lensing reveals black holes, observing which is difficult in infinite space. Many older galaxies and black holes could be invisible due to our limited technology. Now, researchers are focusing on gravitational lensing, which should make even older and larger black holes visible, thus completing our understanding of the primordial universe. The accidental discovery of gravitational lensing occurred when scientists noticed unusual distortions in the images. This effect, caused by massive objects like galaxies or black holes, enlarges small and distant objects in the background of an image, thanks to the gravitational pull of very heavy objects upstream. This simple but powerful cosmic coincidence significantly assisted researchers in identifying remote galaxies and exoplanets that would otherwise have remained invisible. The black holes and extraterrestrial intelligences resulting from these findings have already surprised you. But there's more. Scientists made two additional shocking discoveries about black holes in early 2023. The first discovery shows that something massive and unknown is being sucked into the black hole at the center of our galaxy. The second discovery is that advanced alien civilizations are using black holes as quantum computers. These two discoveries were made very close to each other and may be connected. 
Scientists identified the mysterious object at the center of our galaxy just before a study on aliens and quantum computers was published. Is there a connection here? When you think about aliens and quantum computers, many of you probably imagine strange aliens sitting in front of a black hole and browsing the network. But that's not exactly what is meant by quantum computing. Scientists have concluded that black holes would be brilliant quantum computers if only we could approach them without being disintegrated into their components. The study argued that extremely advanced civilizations could draw on black holes or use small black holes created in the laboratory as repositories of knowledge and data processing machines. The capabilities of such computers would be far beyond our imagination. Somehow, Everything came together, and wild rumors circulated for days that the object that had just appeared near the black hole at the center of the Milky Way was an alien spacecraft in the field of quantum computing. But this expectation was soon disappointed. We would probably all have rejoiced at the first image of a spacecraft at the center of the galaxy. But later, the strange object, scientifically named X7, turned out to be a massive cloud of dust and gas. Astronomers found that X7 is about 50 times more massive than Earth, and by the spring of 2023, it was already significantly elongated by its proximity to the giant black hole. The size of the cloud grew to 3,000 astronomical units, corresponding to 3,000 times the distance between the Sun and us. Astronomers were puzzled for a while about where X7 came from. A cloud of this size is an unusual object. Most likely, X7 is the relic of a stellar mission and is heading towards its destiny of being sucked into the black hole at the center of the Milky Way. X7 will continue to orbit the black hole several times in periods of 70 years, and by 2036, the cloud will be so close to the event horizon that there will be no escape. The enormous cloud will end with a big explosion, and when it disappears into the center of the galaxy, the black hole will shine brightly for a certain period, becoming visible. Unfortunately, we don't know if aliens will be present and use these forces for themselves. Some cosmologists believe that species capable of using black holes as sources of energy or computers could be invisible, transformed into pure energy that allows them to approach the black giants without being torn apart. Since the moment Einstein predicted the existence of black holes in his theory of general relativity, these cosmic giants have captured the imagination of scientists being places of extreme gravity where the laws of physics are altered in ways we still don't fully understand. The function of these cosmic giants in the cosmos is still mysterious. The James Webb Space Telescope has not only discovered the oldest black hole, but also provided new information about the nature of these cosmic giants. It has shown that black holes were much more common and massive in the early days of the universe than we previously thought. So far, researchers assumed that black holes formed when massive stars collapsed on themselves at the end of their life cycle, resulting in a point in space where gravitational forces become infinite. But the discoveries of the James Webb Telescope don't quite fit this image. The galaxies would still be older and should have already existed before the Big Bang. Now two possibilities remain. Either our universe is really older than we thought, or black holes form in a completely different way than we thought. The six galaxies discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope are an impressive testimony to the diversity and complexity of the universe. They also force us to reassess our knowledge of the cosmic giants. Large parts of the universe seem like a colorful cosmic dance, and the beauty is overwhelming. But then monsters like black holes or horror stars that devour others appear. These discoveries and many others often push our minds to the limits. Who would want a monstrous black hole in this neighborhood that devours everything in its vicinity with its unimaginable gravity? If these black holes at the center of galaxies were once dead stars growing huge by sucking in matter or merging with each other, it took millions or billions of years to grow to this size. Consider that the discovered galaxies existed 13.6 billion years ago, and the Big Bang is supposed to have happened 200 million years earlier. You probably realize that the calculation no longer works, and we need to completely revise our knowledge of black holes, star formation, and galactic formation. The explanatory theories are nothing more than pure speculation until now. According to previous theories, the first stars in the universe were huge, bright, and short-lived. 
After their explosion, they could have left behind equally huge black holes, which could then have stimulated star formation in their vicinity, possibly forming turbo galaxies. The presence of supermassive black holes at the center of galaxies has profound implications for the development and evolution of these galaxies. Their enormous gravitational attraction can draw stars and gas into the galaxy's arms, creating new stars and growing the galaxy at the same time. The energetic jets and winds expelled from the accretion disk around the black hole can heat the surrounding gas and suppress star formation through their activities. Black holes shape and form massive galaxies, so they are not just terrifying and consumers of everything, but also represent an important structuring variable in the universe. A new theory proposes that dense regions in the primordial universe gave rise to multiple black holes, which then merged and grew rapidly over cosmic time. These primordial black holes could have been the precursors to the supermassive black holes we see at the centers of galaxies today. This theory suggests that dense, matter-rich regions in the primordial universe could have given rise to a population of black holes, which later merged through complex processes, fueling the growth of ever more massive black holes over the course of cosmic evolution. The discovery of these ancient galaxies and ultra-massive black holes challenges our current understanding of stellar and galactic formation. The idea that such massive black holes could exist so soon after the Big Bang opens up new avenues of research and raises fundamental questions about the nature of the primordial universe. Furthermore, the implication that black holes could be used as quantum computers adds a layer of strangeness and complexity to this cosmic story. If advanced aliens are indeed harnessing black holes as powerful processing devices, it raises questions about our understanding of extraterrestrial technology and intelligence. It's a fascinating concept to imagine alien civilizations harnessing the power of black holes for advanced computational purposes. Gravitational lensing, which played a key role in these discoveries, offers a new way to explore the cosmos, revealing otherwise invisible objects and opening the door to further cosmic surprises. Its serendipity and power in unveiling objects in deep space suggest that it could be a crucial tool for uncovering additional mysteries of the universe. The fate of X7, the massive cloud of dust and gas heading toward the black hole at the center of the Milky Way, adds a dramatic element to the narrative. Its impending destiny of being sucked in and causing a large explosion could provide new insights into how objects interact with black holes on a cosmic scale. In conclusion, the recent discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope open a new chapter in our understanding of the universe. The combination of ancient galaxies, ultra-massive black holes, and the prospect of black holes being used as quantum computers paints a complex and fascinating picture of cosmic vastness. As Michio Kaku suggests, fully understanding these discoveries could lead to a Nobel Prize in waiting as it challenges and potentially revolutionizes our understanding of the fundamental laws of physics and the evolution of the universe.